Put simply, China is a unique place. After all, there are many things that happen there that most people in the West would consider to be a little bit strange, with many of these oddities being a total shock to foreign visitors. So today, we're going to be giving you the inside scoop by counting down the top 10 crazy things you'll only see in China. But before we do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notifications button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Number 10. The Geoduck Although the Chinese dine on many animals that would be considered strange in the West, few are quite as appalling as the Geoduck. That's because this species of mollusk, which is not found in China but imported from the northwestern United States, truly is unique. That's because not only does it have a large shell and long, slimy body that has a phallic shape, but it is also a major delicacy, with these creatures selling for as much as $300 a pop at high-end restaurants. However, due to how gross it is to actually eat one, we'd suggest passing on this dish next time you're at a Chinese restaurant. Number 9. Squat Toilet when you go to a public bathroom in the West, you generally can expect to find things such as toilets, urinals, sinks, and hand dryers. However, in China, public bathrooms work a little bit differently. That's because rather than have regular toilets, the majority have something known as a squat toilet. And unfortunately, they work exactly how the name suggests as people are expected to put their feet into a designated standing area and then squat to do their business. To make matters worse, the majority of these bathrooms don't give out any free toilet paper, thus forcing you to always have a roll on hand wherever you go. As such, squat toilets are certainly pretty inconvenient for both locals and foreigners alike. Number 8. Ghost Cities while cities in the Western world typically grow organically, the planned economy of China means that city building in the country is a little bit lopsided. That's because rather than simply allow a city to grow, the Chinese government will often create cities in areas that have good access to resources and then simply expect people to move into them once they are built. However, this often proves challenging due to the paradox that while people don't want to move to areas that lack basic public services, local governments don't want to build and establish these services until enough people move in to justify the expense. And while this has often resulted in these cities lying abandoned for decades in the past, in recent years, many of these once empty cities have now begun to thrive. Number 7. Needle Houses Put simply, China is easily one of the world's fastest developing countries. And while this has been great for the region economically, it has also meant that many older villages have been knocked down to accommodate for new roads, malls, and factories. Now, typically speaking, most people will accept the government's offer for their land and move out if a construction project is about to be undertaken. However, there are some who will refuse to move from their homes despite the government cutting off their electricity, water, and road access in order to convince them to do so. The result is often that massive infrastructure projects will simply be built around the offending properties, creating what are known as needle houses due to the fact that they stick out like a sore thumb. And while they may make for some interesting stories, they are undoubtedly pretty strange. Number 6. Cockroach Farms While most Westerners want absolutely nothing to do with cockroaches, in parts of China, the attitude towards them is very different. That's because they are used in many regions as a medicine that can supposedly heal anything from stomach pain to heart problems. And as such, a growing cockroach farming industry has emerged. In fact, the industry has gotten so large that China's biggest cockroach farm has managed to produce about 6 billion cockroaches per year and rake in about $684 million in cockroach potions ever since the farm's inception. 
As a result, we don't expect cockroach farming to fizzle away anytime soon. While cockroach farms may be pretty crazy, you won't believe what strange animal species we put in at number one. So stick around until the end to get the inside scoop. Number five, canned air. China is easily one of the world's most polluted countries, and as such, the air quality in many of its major cities is rather dismal. As a result, a couple of crafty Canadian entrepreneurs recently created a startup known as Vitality Air to make a profit off of this situation. Now, their product is literally canned air that is collected from various parts of Canada, and they have been successful in selling their product at a price of upwards of $21 per bottle. As a result, until the Chinese government gets a handle on the country's air pollution, we expect this industry to continue to thrive. Number four, pajamas out in public. While pajamas may be reserved for the bedroom in most Western countries, in some parts of China, wearing them out in public is quite the fashion statement. And while this trend may be a little bit confusing, it seems to stem from the decades where pajamas were considered to be luxurious Western apparel. It was this classification that made this sleepwear somewhat of a status symbol. And although they can be bought rather cheaply today, in the eyes of some, they are still quite fashionable. As such, next time you're in China, you may just see some people going about their day in this type of comfortable clothing. Number three, fake Apple stores. While iPhones, iPads, and MacBooks are typically bought at Apple stores in the West, it doesn't exactly work this way in China. That's because due to there being just 42 Apple stores in the country, despite the massive demand, many locals have seen it fit to fill in this gap. As a result, there are hundreds, if not thousands of fake Apple stores in the country, which despite not having a license from Apple, sell totally legitimate Apple merchandise and even use the Apple logo on their branding. However, because they often sell new devices for double their regular price, and also due to the fact that the authorities are now starting to crack down on them, we wouldn't be surprised if these fake Apple stores start to disappear in the near future. Number two, the social credit system. Out of all of the entries on this list, the social credit system is by far the scariest. That's because it is essentially a system in which via the help of government-run cameras and local informants, people get either rewarded for doing quote-unquote good things or punished for doing quote-unquote bad things. And while good credit can lead to anything from decreased waiting times at hospitals to better job prospects, a bad score, which can be gained from anything from jaywalking to participating in a political protest, can make it impossible for you to buy an airplane or train ticket, take a loan from a bank, or attend certain universities. As a result, this authoritarian system is something that most people in the West are happy not to have. Number one, the Geese Police. While dogs are the standard police companion in countries around the world, in China's Xinjiang province, officers have recently made the switch to using geese instead of guard dogs. That's because in this province, the police force was having a hard time stopping miscreants from breaking into their headquarters to take back confiscated items. Therefore, after realizing that geese not only have amazing vision, but are extremely territorial and very noisy, they knew that they would be the perfect fit. And when you consider that this police force has continued to use them to this day, it just goes to show how effective these animals really are. That's all we have for you today everyone and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which Chinese occurrence you thought was the strangest. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notifications button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.